Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is uh, of course a weekly update if we will on the uh, latest uh, version of Windows 10 that is the May 2019 update. So tomorrow is May 1st. It's the month when this is going to be released. Of course it's still on the insider side of things. Um, a few questions I'll answer once again plus um, something that will be interesting to see this week. So. Uh, we know that uh, in Seattle it's a Microsoft Build conference this week. That Build conference is going to probably um, give us a little more details on the upcoming 2019 update uh, for May. So that's going to be something interesting. Would be nice to have a date of release, but we probably won't have that before a few weeks. Um, pretty much everybody seems to say that it might be late May. So that means it might be towards the end of the month that the May 2019 update will get uh, will will be released. So that answers one question that a lot of people are still asking. Um, you know why doesn't this show up when I go to Windows updates? It's simple. It doesn't show up because it's not available yet. It's just in Insiders right now. The other question that some of you have asked, and I will stress that you know wait for it to arrive. There's no really big huge changing game features in here that will impress everybody um, wait for it when it will be there it will be there someday it'll arrive but it's not officially yet released but you can have it if you want to have Windows 10 May 2019 update then you can actually get it what you need to do is go to the Windows Insider program so in your Windows settings you can actually go and um, go to Windows Update. On the left side of your screen, there will be Windows Insider, uh, Windows Insider program on the bottom left. And in there, you will be able to actually uh, get into the Insider rings. Now, be careful. You got to be in the um, Release Preview ring. That's the one you want to be at to get the May 2019 update. Don't go into the Fast ring. You're going to jump to the uh, Build 18885, and you're going to be kind of screwed because you won't be able to uh, get off unless you reinstall Windows. But if you go into Windows 10 May 2019 um, update in the release preview ring, that's what you're going to get. Uh, then you can actually, once it's installed and everything is all right, you can actually get off, turn off the Windows Insider uh, builds, and you will be at the May 2019 update. But once again, like I say, you know, uh, don't, don't do it. Uh, wait for it. You know, it's still being tested. Uh, maybe they could find some other bugs. There's still a few little things like, you know, the SD cards uh, that uh, readers and the external USB drives that can actually mess up the install. There'll be a cumulative update that will be released to fix that when it's released, of course. And uh, basically just be patient. At some point you'll get it. Um, and, you know, it's uh, going to roll out um, probably somewhere towards the end of May. Uh, start rolling out to everybody. Uh, people asking me if they're going to get it the day, day number one, the first day of release. Um, okay, here's the thing. It's going to appear in your Windows updates as a separate update that you can download manually. Once again, I repeat it. If you're in the April 2018 update, if you're in the October 2018 update, this is not going to be pushed to you. It's going to appear as a separate update that you install when you want to install it. The, starting from now on, Microsoft is not pushing these updates anymore to computers. They are not being forced on you anymore. The only time an update will be forced on you is when the 18 months of your Windows version is about to expire. Then that's going to actually be pushing the latest update to your machine. But as long as you're in that 18 months, of uh, that, that your Windows version is still working. Unless you click download and install, it won't install automatically. Some of you will see it day first when it's actually released, yes. Uh, the way that it works is that Microsoft has telemetry on your machine. It knows what is compatible and what's not. And that's the important thing because it will they will look at that and what's compatible. Uh, if your machine has hardware compatible, software that's compatible, day first you're probably going to see it but a lot of you won't see it on day first also because 
there will probably still be some machines that either they don't have all the info yet if it's compatible and if it is they uh, then it will appear but if it's not you will not see it until they deem that it's okay to install on your computer that's why I always say wait for it to appear on your computer because it means that according to their own telemetry you have good chances of having a perfectly working PC with it you know one of the biggest problems is a lot of people say well you know if I push it or if I install it by myself be warned that if you do it by yourself if you decide that you want to do it um, you know the people that have the most problems are the one that actually forced it when you look at all the stats people that have the most problems are the ones that force a version of Windows before it actually is on your machine that they actually sh uh, push it to your machine so it's interesting because you see that you know waiting for that moment when it actually will appear magically on the Windows updates is important it means that well okay your PC should be okay with it um, once again a lot of people asking do I lose my files the upgrade process technically should not be erasing anything it's going to push you to the next version of Windows 10 like I did on my machine here um, I pushed it to the main 2019 update and it uh, kept all my files in my software everything's perfect the um, May 2019 update questions that some people have saying well you have it already is it working well yes mine is working perfectly no problems no issues at all I have a perfectly working computer uh, with it and I'm very happy to have moved to the May 2019 update once again for those that always ask me well how come you got it now because I'm in the insider program that's why I got it now I got it from the insider rings is there an image or an ISO officially no officially no and I don't want anybody post links of these weird websites from Russia or whatever that have the image I don't want to see that on the channel this is you know you'll get it when the official ISO is out the image will appear when it's released the day that they're gonna announce its release the day that it's going to be officially available this is when the media creation tool is going to be updated and that media creation tool will have the image for May 2019 update and one last question that a lot of people uh, have absolutely no clue and they just say you know whatever uh, it's like there's a lot of fake news going on I get these um, all the time these mess these emails and messages from people saying well you know of course, the, uh, main, the the they're not pushing the October 2018 update. It's not available. They have removed it. No, it's available. Okay, they fixed out the bugs of the October 2018 update. It's okay, and it is available. That's what you're gonna get if you would go to the media creation tool, the the October 2018 update. That's you're getting that, and that's what's available now. So of course, don't go and download it now. You're not getting the May 2019 update. You're getting the October. 2018 update version 1809 so uh, another little questions and answer and of course with build happening this week it's going to be interesting to see what we're going to learn about the future of Windows in the different conferences and keynotes if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching